Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, a weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are Israeli troops conducted targeted raids inside Gaza for a second consecutive night before withdrawing, the Israel Defense Forces said in a statement on Friday. Video published by the IDF showed tanks and armored vehicles moving on a road near agricultural land as well as strikes on buildings and open areas. The raid, which included aircraft and artillery strikes in Shahajia neighborhood, targeted Hamas infrastructure including anti-attack missile launch sites, military command and control centers, as well as Hamas terrorists, the IDF said in the statement. Israel has vowed to wipe out Hamas, the militant group that controls Gaza in response to its October 7th deadly terror attack and kidnap rampage in which over 1,400 people were killed and more than 200 others were taken hostage. Eight former Indian Navy personnel were this week handed death penalty in Qatar. Calling the judgment shocking, the Ministry of External Affairs assured that it would contest the judgment. These eight former Navy officials were accused of spying while they were working for Aldara Global Technologies and Consultancy Services, a private firm that provided training and related services to Qatar's armed forces. These men have been in jail since August 2022. Granted counselor access to them, New Delhi has been working to secure their release. The men went to trial in March. A day after the Ethics Committee of the Lok Sabha summoned Trinamool Congress MP Mauva Moitra to appear on October 31st in the cash for query scandal, the TMC MP sought more time. Moitra also alleged that Vinod Sonkar, chairman of the Parliament Ethics Committee, announced her summon date on live TV way before the official letter was emailed to her adding that due to pre-scheduled constituency programs, she wants more time to appear before the committee. The TMC MP wrote a letter to the chairman of the ethics committee requesting more time to appear before the committee. She also mentioned the example of BJP MP Ramesh Viduri, who was summoned by the Lok Sabha's privilege committee on October 10th, but was later permitted to appear at a later time as per his request. Meanwhile, on Thursday, BJP MP Nishikant Dupe and advocate J. Anand Dehradai, who initially levied the cash for query allegation against the TMC MP, appeared before the Lok Sabha Ethics Committee to submit oral evidence on their allegations. The first episode of Coffee with Karan 8 dropped this week and there couldn't have been a better way to kickstart the season. Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone were the first to glance the couch and there were some massive secrets dropped, a wedding video released and some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Karan Johar started the episode with a warm welcome and a quirky mention of the guest of the evening, Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh, who he addressed as RSDP, followed by a mind-blowing entry by the couple who were staying in black outfits. Ranveer proceeded to dive into details about how and when Deepika and he started dating during Ram Leela, how he planned out the most romantic proposal of the actress in Maldives, how they told their parents about each other and of course the secret engagement. This build up was enough to get everyone to be filled with excitement about the wedding video. Yes, they dropped the wedding video during the episode and it was truly dreamy, leaving Karan Johar super emotional as he poured his heart out about yearning to experience a love like that. With all-rounder Hardik Pandya's return delayed after an ankle injury sustained during World Cup contest against Bangladesh and Pune on October 19th, most of India's specialist batters rolled their arms over during their first training session in Lucknow ahead of clash against England. Virat Kohli was the first one to try his part-time seam bowling a few deliveries to Indian skipper Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gill. It was only after that Kohli padded up for a batting stint. Later in the evening, Gill and Surakumar Yadav, who both have never bowled in ODIs, delivered off-breaks. While Gill bowled to Mohammad Siraj in an interesting role reversal, Yadav tossed up a few balls to Sharma and Shreya Sayer. Meanwhile, India continues its winning streak in the World Cup, cemented at the top of the points table with 10 points. Hope you like this edition of Your World This Week. We will be back next week with yet another episode of Your World This Week. Have a good day.